This reading is going to be for Pisces going into February. What messages do you have for Pisces going into February? And I will try to not get my energy on these cards. I know that uh, a lot of people were mentioning my Pisces reads sound like my life. <laughs> I promise, like, I know a lot of Pisces. Like, we all have our own odd dilemmas that sound very similar. Actually, um, if you're watching this, <laughs> I have a very good friend, and he has, he's not just a Pisces, but um, he also has the same rising as me, and we have almost identical lives, lives when it comes to our relationships and, and um, dealing with like the crazy of life. Um, I, I remember we've even had proposals at the same time. It's, it's pretty wild. It's, it's an interesting um, dynamic he and I have. <laughs> I think he's overseas right now. So you're probably not watching this. I'll see you when you get back. What messages do you have for Pisces going into February? Oh, wow. Um, you're definitely... Um, Moving on for some, from somebody could be a possible fire sign. This is leaving them, this other person, up in their own head about you, um, making them very insecure. But you're doing your own thing. You're doing your own thing. You're, you're getting your own shit together for sure. You're coming up as the nine of cups. It's like I've got all my stuff. I don't, I don't need to like dwell on past mistakes. You will have a decision to make, however. Um, choose wisely, because judgment is in reverse, okay? So there is the potential that you make the wrong decision. Um, this could do with travel, okay? Um, it's an emotional decision. I see lots of water. Again, choose wisely. I really feel like you're going to need to use your intuition. You're pulling um, the High Priestess Pisces energy, but you're pulling it in reverse. So I feel like you are you might be thinking with your heart versus your head. A horrible idea. Um, being a water sign, yes, that is what we do. Um, but, you know, we, we have a whole bunch of other... Um, signs in our chart so try to use one of your other signs I'm literally trying to like to, to channel my Virgo rising like I need to start using my head and not my heart I, I just get myself in like the, the worst situations when I do that um, just pulling fire signs again so this could definitely be a fire sign um, I feel like you're finding balance um, <clears throat> but it looks like you're stepping away from um, your uh, your need for a relationship or your desire for a relationship. Um, you're pulling as somebody who just kind of wants to like focus on themselves right now. I see that your money will definitely improve for sure. Be careful though. <laughs> because I see that as soon as the money comes in, you're already spending it. Um, and I also see that you're holding back some sort of emotions. And I don't know what these... Let me clarify what these emotions are. You're definitely holding back like on some, some serious emotions. Again, be careful with that spending. I feel like you're going to blow it as soon as you get it. I don't like this. This has to do with travel once again. Whatever this traveling situation is, is highly emotional and intense. 
I I don't know like please when it happens like I have no idea where you are on the timeline but when it happens I would love for somebody to email me or message me and explain this to me because um, this is going to be an incredibly draining situation to you you have such a nurturing um, disposition over this though It's almost like a mothering um, energy is coming off of this. I don't know. Maybe you're, maybe this travel has to do with family. I don't know. Like I feel like you you're rushing off to like mother somebody potentially. love this reading I'm gonna be honest with you because I see you you know get the six of wands where you are moving forward with something and you're making the changes you need to make in it you're doing your own thing but here comes this seven of swords um, manipulating you once again or being deceitful to you luckily I don't feel like you're <clears throat> necessarily going to fall for it we do have the fool and it's in reverse it's sort of like yeah i've been down this road before i know how this goes give me um three more cards for pisces and we'll end it there three more cards what does pisces need to know this is sort of all over the map i see an argument for sure um argument about growth with somebody um, could be a Leo. You're pulling fire everywhere, but this could be a Leo for sure. <coughs> um, I don't know what this argument is about. I'm going to clarify why why the sun and is in reverse after the argument. Again, you're just not being fooled. You're not being blinded by this situation. I feel like it's going to, maybe, you know, this person could be highly manipulative um, and you're just not falling for their shit anymore. I think that definitely could be it, but there's no growth and progress um, in this situation. And okay. There's no growth. There's no progress. I see you getting upset. I, I feel like money is being not unnecessarily spent for sure. It's still pull, pulling it into the read. But then at the bottom of the deck, we do have messages from a soulmate, somebody who has been watching you. So this isn't over, Pisces. <coughs> Take it as it resonates. 